you're gonna get very wet. What is Songkran? Songkran is the Thai New Year, also known as the Water Splashing Festival. It is a three-day celebration, three days of water fights, five days in some areas. It is the biggest water fight in the world. In fact, one of our cities, Chiang Mai in the north of Thailand, holds the current Guinness Book of Records entry for the largest water fight in the world. For tourists, Songkran is all about the water fights. But that's kind of like saying that Christmas is all about Santa Claus. The water fight is just the tip of the iceberg. It's a very traditional and a very symbolic celebration. But for you as a tourist, that's probably the only side of Songkran that you will witness while you are here in Thailand. So let's focus on that. What do you need for Songkran? You need a good attitude and a smile. Also, you need a waterproof pouch for your cell phone and cash. Try to get the ones which you can hang around your neck. So much easier. You're going to want to have cash with you because you'd want to buy some beer, some food and refill your water gun. Comfortable shoes. Most people wear flip-flops, but I do recommend wearing something a bit more sturdy like old sneakers. You're going to be doing a lot of walking and it gets very wet out there. You wouldn't want to slip in your slip-stops on the edge of a sidewalk and twist your ankle. You need a water gun. I recommend getting one with a strap or adding a strap yourself because it just makes it so much easier hanging this over your shoulder when you have a beer in the one hand and a hot dog in the other hand. Goggles to protect your eyes and even earplugs to protect your ears from high pressure guns. I'd even go as far as to recommend a baseball cap to protect yourself from the sun. God, I sound like my mother. Who can you shoot? Absolutely anyone and everyone. Everybody is fair game and that includes you. I have seen tourists lugging their luggage about to go check into their hotel and get drenched in water. So let that be a warning for you if you are checking into your hotel over Songkran. Be careful when shooting children. The kids get really into it. They are very excited at the prospect of shooting a foreigner. But be very cautious when returning fire. Also, do not shoot water at monks, at the elderly or at babies. Where to aim? Up in the air is fine, and if you're going to be aiming for a person, then below the head. Don't aim for the face, don't aim for the ears, hence my recommendation for wearing earplugs. The back of the head is okay, but it's not cool. In Thai culture, the head is a point of respect, and Thai people do not even touch the head of other people. So try to avoid that. There will be many foreigners, but there will also be many Thai people. Be respectful. What to fill your water gun with? This sounds obvious, but use clean water only. Tap water is fine. You're gonna run out of water very quickly as you get into the excitement of Songkran, but you can refill your water gun at many places during the party. You might be lucky and occasionally get water for free, but you most likely will have to pay about 20 baht to refill your water gun. Some people might offer you ice cold water. Go for it. It certainly adds to the excitement of shooting somebody with ice cold water and getting a big reaction out of it. What to expect? Expect to have a lot of fun. Walk a lot, pay inflated prices for food, pay inflated prices for beer. You might have to queue to have your water gun filled, loud music and lots and lots and lots of people. By the way, watch out for pickpockets. Keep your belongings safe. Why water? In Thai culture, water is seen as a physical and a spiritual cleanse. Traditionally, water is poured over the hands of the elderly as a way to give thanks, to ask for forgiveness for any wrongdoing, and to ask for their blessings. What are they rubbing on their faces? Part of the spirit of Songkran is rubbing a chalk-like substance or a powder on the face of revelers. This is considered as a form of blessing. So if a Thai person comes up to you with chalk on their hands, stand still, present your cheeks, close your eyes and mouth and wait for them to rub this powder on your face. As they do this, they will most likely say Sawari Pimai, which means Happy New Year. When they are finished, you can reply by saying the same Sawari Pimai and Why at the same time. You might also see this at your hotel. As a means of making merit, we also pour scented water over the Buddha image in a very gentle and respectful way. 
Remember to never point at the Buddha image. What to wear? Women wearing too skimpy clothes might be turned away from the water fights, so dress respectfully and cover up properly. We generally wear shorts or swim trunks, as well as these brightly colored floral design shirts. And you can buy them everywhere, at your local supermarket, at clothing stores, or even in the streets. And that goes for your water guns too. You can buy them all over the place, in your local convenience store, supermarkets, in the streets, and even at the water fights. If you have a body like this, please come topless. Where to go for Songkran? At Silom, as well as at Khao San Road, you will see the water fights. If you go to Sanam Luang, which is the park across from the Grand Palace, you will see the more sacred celebrations. And then in Prapa Dang district, one week after the Songkran festival in the city, you will see a more traditional Songkran. It has a lot more of a warm and kind feeling to it. I'm gonna make a video of that one next week and add it to the end of this video for you. Consuming alcohol. You will not be allowed to drink beer while you walk through the water fight. And most likely alcohol sales will be prohibited on the day. However, it's possible you can walk down an alley and find a restaurant where you can down a beer before returning back to the water fight again. Remember that Songkran is a very traditional and spiritual Thai holiday. Have fun! But be kind and respectful. Saudi so Pimai. Okay, so on Ghana you're gonna have to be coming back already, okay? Alright, here we go. You're gonna get very wet. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. That's it. Okay. Wrap, people.